when does it become unacceptable? How many holocausts does there have to be before you say, oh, wow, this is a stupid game. We're just not going to be able to play it. It's unwinnable. We can't do it. We're just not going to allow that to be the liability of humanity. And from every evidence we have, humanity is inevitably going to have this horror happen. It will be some sort of tsunami or we'll, 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 we'll carbonate the atmosphere or we'll do something else that's going to cause all kinds of... Look, we're going to go into this uh, economic crisis and it, it might kill two billion people. Just so we preserve the integrity of the rich man's moat and keep him in his, uh, his gold. Um, but how much of that shit has to happen? How much crap has to happen before you say, yeah, you're right, this, this on balance just can't, this is not functional. This is not good enough. It has to do better than this. And so what if bugs feel? What if they're really experiencing actual sentient horror? I mean, think about the hard, the crap that's going on. I mean, it's bad enough as it is. Now you just multiplied it by ten or a hundred or a thousand if you include them in the uh, realm of uh, sentient feeling organisms. Um, that, then this is really a catastrophe. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to have to get to some other specifics. When does it become? How much? How much do we have to pile on? How bad does it have to get? I've used this. I'll, I'll, I'll make it simple for you. I've used this one before. But um, lions, you know, uh, one in ten cubs, only one in ten reaches its first birthday. So if I increase that number to only one in a thousand, I mean, or one in ten thousand, what number would it take before you say lions are inefficient? Their existence is more suffering than it is profit. There's no point in having lions because all these cubs get murdered in a horrible way, so the price for it is too high. This is the, the equation we're stuck in. This is, the hum this is our dilemma. And we can keep pretending it doesn't matter because it's not our suffering, but it does matter. It's the price of life on Earth. I mean, we, don't, we, only, we, we not only have to account for our own personal life and what we fuck with, we have to account for the existence of our race. And then we have to account for the existence of our culture. And then we have to account for the existence of our species. And then we have to account for the existence of our kind, uh, life form, let's say, or sentient life. And, and that's the truth of the fucking circumstance. Because you, you can't, you couldn't have us without that. That's the price of it. And, uh, and if we're never going to acknowledge the price, if we're just keep pretending there is no price. It's just so friggin' irresponsible. And I would suppose, theoretically, the argument can be narrowed to what is an acceptable mess for us to make into the future. I mean, if we're going to create a world where that's going to get blown up and billions of people are going to be radiated and die in a horrible, miserable way, um, how much responsibility do we take for that? And, and how much risk? are we allowed to take with that future? I mean, obviously we can't fix the mess. We can't fix what created us. We can't undo all the four billion years of evolution, the two billion years of animals eating each other. All right, but we're never gonna be able to fix that. So maybe we can, never, we can never fully clean up the mess because we can't undo the past. But everything that's gonna happen in the future is gonna happen because of what we do. I mean, we're a critical, we're the link. You know, what this link does, the, the whole rest of the chain will be dependent on. And, and so that's where our responsibility lies. I don't know if I put that exactly the way I wanted to. Um, and the point is we might have some, some kernel of value if you extract the high price that was paid to get us here. It's like slavery. You can't undo slavery. But we had huge productivity because of it. And so what's the responsible thing to do? is to try to prevent any more exploitation, to try to learn from that mistake and try to take the profit you gained off of it and do something constructive with it. Do something constructive with that advance, that progress that you got on somebody else's back, on the back of somebody else's suffering. And is that what we're doing as a human race? Are we even contemplating that? And every signal seems to point to the fact that we're doing exactly the opposite. We've not only we're not we're, we're not only we don't we not only don't appreciate what has been paid for our existence we're stealing from the fucking future so we're stealing the dignity of the suffering of the past and we're um, um, you know stealing the the welfare of the future 
so, you know, we really do suck. And this is not a human race to say, yeah, keep reading, uh, keep doing what you're doing, you're doing just fine. No, this is something to say, fuck this shit, let's put up some goddamn stop signs, let's figure out what the fuck, let's figure out if these assholes can drive this car before we let them keep turning the wheels. Before we keep letting this thing roll down the highway, let's see if this asshole is capable of driving this thing so, uh, into something other than somebody's living room, uh, making a mess.